This man at the cash register is Chris Berry. What you're about to see is a documentary based solely around him. The first interview will be with Derek Allen. Here's a picture of him with Chris Berry. They both have shirts on. There's a, a nice picture of them without shirts on the beach. Nice. Ah, Chris Berry. That's a name. I remember back in high school, you know, I'd I'd be pounding around with him all the time. He'd be walking in the hallway with his East High School marching band, his uh, maroon jacket, and I'd go, oh, I've heard of a strawberry or a raspberry, but never a, a Chris Berry. I could, I could, I, could I, I knew that he hated it. He hated it. He, he wasn't impressed. No one was impressed. Next up to be interviewed, we actually have Aiden Scott, a relatively close friend of Chris Berry. Included here, you will see a picture. I actually, I used flash. I didn't mean to. He's terrified. So I decided to get Chris Berry a job with me at Atlas Brick Oven Pizzeria as a delivery driver. And one night, it was just a normal Saturday night, uh, the dishwasher ended up getting clogged. And it was the two of us working together. Chris Berry was nowhere to be seen. So I decided to uh, just do my job and unclog the dishwasher. But when I, I reached my hand down the drain, um, there was just a white hot pain. And I, I screamed out in agony. And it turns out it was a knife. And I stormed out into the kitchen in a rage, demanding to know who put the knife in the drain. And the whole time, it was actually Chris Berry. But I didn't know that until months later. And while it happened, he just cowered behind the counter in the kitchen. Alexi, what is your take on Chris Berry? Huh. Just before my scheduled interview with Andrew West, he felt the need to have a quick cold one and just really take a quick lift, just uh, fully fledge everything out before he has to talk about his very close friend Chris Berry. So ever since I met Chris Berry, he's always talked about how he wished he had a bully in high school. Don't really know why, but as a as a good friend, I decided I'll, you know, I'll take on the responsibility. So nothing too major, just stuff to uh, every now and again make sure he he knows his place. <laughs> I actually brought a uh, pretty funny, embarrassing photo. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not it. You you get the gist. Last but not least, I decide to interview Adam Setzer, close friend of Chris Berry. Oh, Christopher? Yeah, no, Chris Christopher's a harmless dude. All right, you, trust me, he wouldn't hurt a fly. One time I walked into his room, and it was like, you know, noon or one, still asleep. But I came in and I tried to wake him up, and I was like, hey, let's get around for the day. And I opened up his curtains, throw all the light in, piss him off and wake him up. And I saw this big spider web in his windowsill. It was fucking huge, and there was a giant spider, like one of the wolf gang, whatever spiders, huge. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I reached for a tissue, and I was going to get it. And then I just hear him, like, wake up, and he's like, no. I'm like, what? He goes, that's Timmy. I'm like, what? That's Timmy the spider. He's been in my room for two years. He keeps all the flies away. We hang out. It's cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. He's that chill of a dude. He lets a fucking giant-ass spider just chill in his windowsill for two years. Keep the flies away. Totally harmless guy. Right after my interview with Adam, I decided to take a little digging around in my archives, and folks, let me tell you, I have, I have found a video that just, it just completely contradicts everything that Adam said. Excuse me, boys, what does that sign say right there? It says, go fuck yourself. What does it say right there? It says, no loitering. No loitering, guys, come on. Not one day after Adam's interview, I got some news. He was shot. These pictures reveal it was none other than Chris Berry. You see right here the finger gun. He, he, Adam didn't have a chance. And right here he just looks, he's, he's so scared. And what's Chris Berry doing? He's looking for witnesses. The trail seemed to have gone cold on Chris Berry. He completely cut off ties with everybody and, well, we tried to contact his little brother, Kevin Barry, and, uh, well, all we got from him was he sent us a nice picture of him eating a banana, so 
here's that. I mean, I like it. That's nice. It's, it's pretty nice knowing that Kevin's still doing all right. Seen here, we have the last picture of Chris Berry and his patented Subaru Outback. And these are the last two videos right here of him. No one heard much of him after this. He's still at large. Jump. La. Okay, yeah. Jala, hey Jala, dang dang, ooh, oh la la ze to de, oh come la ya 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 ya.